Welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Chad here at Moss Pond and Gun. And uh, today we wanted to throw out a very quick little video. Hopefully it'll be pretty short. Uh, but we're going to talk about some awesome stocking stuffers that you guys can get for your gun toting buddies. Oh yeah. Alright, um, we've been thinking about this pretty long and hard about what would be cool. You know, what would dad or grandpa or your brother or your buddy want to see in their stocking or under the tree come Christmas time. Uh, we know, you know, Christmas is on the way. It's coming up. And uh, more importantly, this video is also kind of geared towards uh, maybe some of you ladies out there that are looking to get something cool for uh, your husband or your boyfriend or whoever, your brother, you know, the, the gun-toting guy or lady in your life that just wants some cool things to uh, uh, go along with all the rest of their kit. Um, and we, we've come up with some pretty cool options for you guys uh, that are curious. Um, it's really kind of hard to start in one place, but we're going to kind of roll along here. One area is cleaning supplies. Uh, somebody that's into guns, they're never going to get enough of uh, cleaning supplies. So little cleaning rods, uh, you know, random stuff, oil, um, like we got these LPS-1 weapons wipes. Uh, it's basically like a kind of a really tough towel uh, saturated with uh, LPS-1, which is an excellent product for, you know, wiping down your guns and stuff. Uh, what do you think? Lubricants? What oh, yeah. else? Well, you can buy a lot of times the small kits basically has like a gun cleaner and oil and then like a CLP type solution in it. Yeah. You know, little small package like this. The Otis cleaning kits. This is a large kit right here, but they have the small like AR style kits and just a little round pouch. Yeah. I mean, AR, 45, 9 mil, you can get them for pretty much any caliber. Yeah, those things are handy. Uh, the Otis products are awesome. Uh, any gun lover in your life is, if they get that in their stocking, they're going to go AP. Uh, oh, yeah. Because it's excellent products. You know, Otis is a big company under a lot of military contracts, that sort of thing. Um, you know, also when it comes to cleaning and stuff, also gadgets. Um, us gun guys, we love gadgets. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to like little flashlights and stuff, like this particular one's just one of the little Nebo red lines, little basic cheapo flashlight. They don't cost a ton of money, but you know, they're excellent for what they are. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit more money, you can get them in uh, one, some of the Surefire offerings. Oh, yeah. uh, we got one of the little G, uh, G2Xs. We got a Fury Tactical here. Little Fury. Um, another good option, this is uh, brand new to the market, and this thing is the Cat's Meow. It's the P3X Fury. It's a 1000 lumen LED oh, yeah. uh, Surefire. <laughs> so if you really uh, you know, love your gun-toting buddy, uh, this thing would be awesome. You find this in their stocking, and they're going to go nuts if they find this. So um, flashlights, gadgets, of course, you know, gun people generically across the board are going to be gadget type people. You know, we like gadgets, we like, you know, cool little things that make noises and, and click and pop and sizzle and whatever. Um, another good option are like lasers, okay, um, like this little cat laser. It's a little magnet type laser, it drops on top of a Glock. A uh, pretty cool little option for somebody that just wants a, a laser to put on the Glock from time to time. Uh, Crimson Trace. Can't go wrong with Crimson Trace laser grips, um, you know, for stocking stuffers. Of course, uh, if you're not sure, just find out what make and model gun uh, somebody has and you can pick them up a little, you know, set of grips or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In addition to all kind of other random gadgets, one thing that you can't go wrong with, especially if you know the, the gun-toting person in your life needs it, is a cool holster. Uh, we got one of these little easy holsters. Show them, Chad. Basically, it's just a uh, snap ring here. Pop it. Oh, there goes the gun. <laughs> just pops Let's right try up. that again. Yeah, but that's uh, that's neat because you know that can sit like down in the console, uh, you know, in your seat in the car there, and uh, it's basically just got a little leaf spring that holds it in place, and then the gun pops out, and bam, it's in your hand. So a lot of gadget guys will love this kind of thing because I mean, for everyday carry, maybe yeah, you could you could rock it in the back of your pocket and run it like that, but. The neat thing about something like this too is that, you know, once it's all snapped in place, this doesn't look like a gun holster. No. It just looks like a little box. I mean, this could be, you know, if this thing had a little bit more intricate looking binding, you could stick this on a bookshelf and nobody would think twice. They would think it's just a little random book on a bookshelf, but really, you know, you got some firepower in this little thing. So uh, if it's one thing us guys like, uh, I'm, I'm not speaking for the ladies necessarily, but I'm sure you ladies like it too. We like guns that we can hide easy, and uh, sometimes something like this is a neat little stocking stuffer just because uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just cool. Yeah. Something like that uh, can, can stuff just about anywhere. So um, that's definitely a good option too for some of your gadget types. You know, that's definitely a gadget. Um, so what else? What about reloading equipment for people? Well, like you said, I mean, you've got a reloader in your life. Uh, 
you know, especially like a spouse that you are familiar with what they have, you can always pick up some reloading dies, you know, for a caliber that they may have talked about they want to get into, or even a neat reloading manual is always a nice read. You know, always good stuff to find out in here. Um, powder. Yep. Powder fits perfectly in a socket. Exactly. You know, a pound of their favorite powder. Oh, yeah. If you got a reloading buddy that you know uh, uses a certain type of powder and they're always running out, um, you can't go wrong with a, a pound of popular powder that they're always used to. Um, if you got a reloading buddy in your life that, you know, you're, you're, you know they want to get into reloading and you're not sure what to buy them or you're not familiar with the reloading process yourself, you can't go wrong with good quality literature. Uh, like the basic uh, Lee manual, that's a good way to get started. It's a good cheap item, you know, usually this is under 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. And uh, anybody that's, that is interested in reloading is going to go, uh, you know, crazy when they see this in their stocking. So from a standpoint of reloading, um, I would suggest that if you're not familiar with the reloading process, you want to be a little careful about what you buy someone because obviously if you're not familiar with it, you can't really make a, a, a qualified decision. Now you can go into a gun shop and ask people if they carry reloading stuff and tell them a little bit about what that person's trying to accomplish and they can probably point you in the right direction. You can also ask for advice. I mean, if you yeah. don't know, just ask somebody who, uh, who knows about guns or ask somebody in the shop and I'm sure they can tell you just the perfect item. Exactly. Such as anything like this is laid out, you know, that uh, the gun toting person would love. Yeah, most certainly. And uh, I'll tell you what, um, Lula mag loaders. You cannot go wrong with Lula loaders. These things are worth their weight in gold. Yeah, they are. You know. Something like this is great to have. They're a cheap stocking stuffer, um, great for the uh, AK, AR, pistol mags, whatever. Um, P mags, all right. You know, if you guys got an AR toting buddy, P mags are awesome. Yes, they are. You know, good quality mags, not too expensive. And generally, magazines are great stocking stuffers no matter what, all right. As long as you know what model firearm the person has, AR 15, AK, FAO, whatever it may be. Buy them some mags. That's always a nice gesture around Christmas time. Um, there you go. Strip the AR lower. Drop it right in. Yep. Love that. Oh yeah, especially these. They're, these are the uh, little uh, Anderson manufacturing. Oh yeah. They're a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks for a stripped AR lower. You can't go wrong there. What about that? You know, I got a 22 conversion kit here. Three mags. A little big for a stocking, but still fit under the tree. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I know a lot of us uh, can't afford ammo right now. 223 is getting expensive. A lot of people don't want to, you know, pay to shoot it. Now, granted, 22 is expensive too, but it's definitely cheaper than 556, no matter how you run it. A quality conversion kit can go a long way, uh, you know, for uh, getting your, your plinking in without spending a ton of money. Binary targets. Yes. Always a good choice. Yeah, binary targets are an excellent choice. Uh, but, you know, Dad's never going to have a problem if you uh, put a little boom in his stocking. All right. right. Now, these here are really great to get in a stocking, especially if you're a uh, pure gun guy. You know, getting a tool set to work on your guns, very nice touch. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of us get to the range and, you know, stuff works loose. And you always find that you're without a, uh, a screwdriver set or something similar. And uh, I'll tell you what, a quality screwdriver set is really tough to beat Oh yeah. Um, overall. Well, a lot of them come with specialized tools that are made for particular guns. You know, you've got uh, special tools for taking down um, Smith & Wesson revolvers, you know, the 45, ACP, uh, 1911s, you know, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of these are excellent options. Of course, there's a wide range of other things. I mean, uh, ammunition. Uh, you know, nobody's going to complain about ammunition, especially right now, the way things are going. Um, one of the options that I think is just kind of neat is the Fiocchi canned heat, mm -hmm. uh, and this is 45 ACP, 50 rounds, uh, hermetically sealed in a can, like a little pop lid, like a spam can, and that's just something that's real neat. If you don't know how long it's going to take them to shoot it up, you know, they can hold on to it as long as they want. Well, especially, too, if you have anybody who's like a prepper, you know, yeah. this stuff will actually stay sealed up for quite a while. Keep the moisture out and whatnot, and you put this in an ammo can, it's pretty much lasts indefinitely. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So, um, all of these things withstanding, there's a ton of other options, just depending on, uh, you know, how well prepared they already are. I mean, if people have already got a ton of, you know, gun stuff laying around or whatever, you really can't go wrong no matter how you run it with ammunition, with magazines, cleaning products, some people might be well rounded on for the most part, but generally, any of these things are an awesome option, especially these $100 AR lowers. 
uh, you'll have a friend for life if you buy them one of these lowers, uh, especially if they're on the fence um, about building an AR. This is a good way to kind of twist their arm and uh, convince them, hey, you need to build an AR. You give them this, and uh, they're definitely going to, you know, be turned to do that. We come up with a neat little option here, and uh, kind of thought about this sort of in passing. We came up with a little thing we like to call the man cam, all right? And this is everything a boy needs to uh, have a good day at the range or anything like that. Just a good day in general. Yeah, man, 50 cal ammo can, and uh, I hope you ladies are paying attention. You know, this is something that your husband would go AP over. 50 cal ammo can, pop it open. All right, you ready? A stripped AR lower and upper, ready to build, all right? A brick of 22 LR, 500 rounds. Two binary exploding targets. A good quality knife. Two 45 uh, 1911 magazines. Of course, you can substitute any mag you want, uh, depending on what your husband or whoever your gun-toting buddy has, all right? 60 rounds of 5.56. Two P mags to hold that ammo. You could be real nice and go ahead and load that ammo in the magazines. Loading is part of the fun. Bah. LPS one weapons wipes to keep your guns clean. Canned heat and an awesome flashlight. That rounds things out pretty nice. Well, plus you get the can too. And you get the can. So if you really want to be cool to, to dad or grandpa or brother or whoever the case may be, I think that's a pretty cool option. Don't even wrap it. Just set it under the tree like that, 50 cal ammo can, and uh, let them tear through that. And I, th I think that'd be a pretty cool little gift. If you got a few of them guys in the family, you may have to put their name on it, most definitely. Yeah. Well, that or you might have to go down to 30 cal cans if you got to buy a bunch. Uh, yeah, there'd be a fight over that. Yeah. These cans come in different sizes. You got 50 cal can, you know, this is this size. But you can also get the little 30 cal ammo cans or about half this size. That's a great gift. Open up 30 cal cans, stuff it full of goodies, and, uh, you know, you're good to go. Hopefully this uh, gave you some ideas for stocking stuffers for, uh, you know, the gun-toting person in your life. Uh, Chad happened to be in the area. I thought, you know, you guys have been asking uh, to have Chad in some of the videos. So uh, hopefully we can get him to talk more. But, sure. <laughs> but other than that, uh, we appreciate you guys watching today. We've got a ton of videos in the pipeline, a ton of things that we're trying to accomplish. You know, make sure that you join the members-only section of our website if you haven't already. Um, like us on Facebook. Uh, we plan on doing a ton of cool giveaways uh, coming up, especially after the first of the year. We'll have a, a ton of neat things coming down the oh, pipeline. Yeah. So uh, maybe you learned a little something today. If you are not a gun person and maybe you just stumbled across this video like you're someone's wife or buddy or friend and you're just wondering, you know, what can I buy this person that's into guns, he's into shooting. Maybe you learned a little bit of something today uh, about what makes us gun people tick. And, uh, you know, we hope you'll watch more videos. Thanks for uh, checking in today. Have a good one.